Can you hear me or it's not on? It's tough. Oh, this one's tough, isn't it? There you go. Woo! Because you didn't wiggle it in the right spot, boy. Why do you talk like you're... You always... No. Yeah, we're in Florida. We're in Florida. This is how the Southern talk. Alrighty. <laughs> So I'm here at Jeff Langley's place. I've been here for a month and I've been trying to get back into it. So I'm here uh, with Ollie. Ollie just got up, got in town and I'm here with my girlfriend. And yeah, about to go for a quick ride. I'm trying to get back into it. I'm trying to get back into riding and having fun on the water. So it's been going pretty well. I've been riding quite a bit of cable and I feel good on rails, but not on boat quite yet. So hopefully it goes better here. I wasn't sure if it was going to be me or Gunther that was going to go right, but it's Gunther. Show me, try to imitate exactly how I warm up. Can you do it? Here we go. You've surely seen enough Derome's warm up over the years. Yeah, but my squats are way deeper than that. I got huge deep squats. My goal, pretty much, I'm working on a project, and I don't want to say too much, just because I don't want to, either I don't want to push too much pressure on myself, because it's not finished yet, or it's far from being finished, but I'm working on a project that's hopefully better and bigger than I've done before. I always try to do something a little better than I've done, challenge myself, so we'll see. Don't want to say too much, but I think it's going to be pretty, pretty cool if we can make it work. So we're leaving in three days with this van. It's me, Ollie, and Rathi, so it should be pretty fun. We'll be driving back north, back to my place. We'll be like 12 days on the road. So yeah, I guess my goal, to answer the question, my goal is just to film that project. That's my main goal. Like, I don't really have to do Switch Crow 5 and Crow 5. I don't need to do it, so my goal is just to handpick tricks I really want to do or win spots I've been wanting to do for a long time, and this is what I'll do. Okay, well, nothing's in here yet, but strategy here is a bed. This one's too thick, so it's taking too much room, but nice bed. Double bed, so that's going to be me and Ollie in this one. So I build that little little drawer, and then I have, like, another shelf that's going to be here with some small plants, just so it looks good. And then a little backsplash, a little shelf, and then I got to finish and put a sink and my fridge in here, which I don't have right now. That's pretty much it. That's the setup. Rathi's probably gonna sleep right here on the floor. His feet under here, head over there. I think that's how it's gonna be for the next two weeks. Maybe we can make it work. Oh, oh, oh! Camera would have been nice on this thing. 
Don't, don't put that in the edit. <laughs> it's gonna take me like five tries to get to it, probably. Too much hug to the right. Guys, I get this. No, wait, I'll go for it a little bit. That's that's my fourth time. Real hard left. Of course. Thanks to the driver. It's been a while since I've hit rails on the jet ski. Like back in the, in the days at the projects. That's my hood. No. It's not true. Hmm. I guess that's what it is. Yeah, I think right. wakeboarding for me, there's many things that I loved about it and a lot of things that it gave me or that it showed me. But the, the coolest thing I think is... Uh, like the creative outlet I got through wakeboarding. That's what I like the most and that's what I'm, I guess the most scared that one day I'll have, I'm hoping I'm never gonna lose that. I'll be able to evolve and either through wakeboarding or something else where I can have that creative control or the opportunity to create stuff. Whether it's like filming a video part and like that, those type of projects really, I mean, were my favorite and it's probably the thing that kept me connected to wakeboarding for all these years. No, it's crazy, it's just true, like how wakeboarding bring, brings everyone together. Like we're all from different places and kind of all, ha we all have our own life going on back home. And then we always come, you know, come here and we kind of mix it all up. And uh, the cool part is it doesn't feel like I haven't seen Dylan, I think, in two years or something. And it's going to be like nothing really happened in two years. It's pretty cool. Same for for BP or what I saw down the other day, like it's always pretty mellow and casual, so yeah. Pretty much it, what I was saying earlier is COVID helped us probably realize a little bit that it's, you know, you can, your job changes really quick, I guess. I, I, I say my job, but it shouldn't even be a job, but I, it's not holding down to a whole lot. And I guess we're, I'm just stoked that we can keep riding and I, I can keep doing this for a little bit longer and I'm just really grateful for the opportunity. Yeah.